Kat here at Free Body. What is a muscle knot anyway? Coming up next. A question came up on the channel about what are muscle knots? Why do we have them all over our bodies? And, and how can we tell if what a knot actually is? So that's a great question. Thanks for asking that. I want to talk a little bit about um, what those like thick areas are in the body because it's really helpful to understand anatomy when you're working on someone's body because some things that feel like thick knots that aren't painful are really just areas of overlaying muscle. Like there's a part in the glute where glute min and then glute med is laying on top of it and then glute max is laying all on top of that. So always on that lateral hip area, it always feels thick. And if it's not painful to your client, it's not an area that you have to really spend extra time on because really what we're looking for are the places that feel sensitive or feel tender to the touch. See, tender to the touch typically means that there's a trigger point in there. And that's really what we're going for. We want to go in. I tell my clients, my job is to find the most tender spots in your body press on them with loving kindness and help them to release so that you feel more comfortable in your body. If I am going over places where I'm like, it just feels really thick here, there's got to be something in there, and then I start digging around with my elbow, I might actually be creating problems for them. The tissue might go, ah, what are you doing? Get that elbow out of there. That hurts. That's deep work, right? We don't have to do deep work and every place that feels thick is not necessarily something that needs to be fixed, right? We might be actually working really hard on something that was fine in the first place. So understanding that places in the body, all over the body, we have places where there's many layers of tissue. It's always going to feel thick. It's always going to feel kind of clumpy. That's normal, right? So if it's not tender, don't worry about it. It just might be anatomy. And then maybe after the session, you go back and you look at your anatomy book. Oh yeah, that's just where three layers of tissue are. That's great. I don't have to deal with that. So we are looking for those places that are tender, that might be causing our clients some pain. Other thicknesses that you might feel in the tissue might be places where there's tendon and tendon doesn't give in the same way that muscle tissue does. So if you're close to a joint and you feel a thick line of tissue, it just might be a tendon. So be aware of where you are. Are you in the belly of the muscle or are you close to its attachment site? Again, if it's not tender as you sink into it, it just might be a tendon and you don't need to be pressing and jamming on it because if you're doing that, the tendon's going to get aggravated. And when the tendon gets aggravated, it sends a signal to contract the muscle to protect. So we don't want to initiate those protective mechanisms in the tissue. So you don't want to be jamming out hard on a tendon. And if there's layers of muscle that just feel thick and not tender, you don't need to spend time there either. Other places of thickness that you might feel in a tissue is there might be a place where there was a tear at some point. A tear is going to be repaired with scar tissue. Scar tissue is hard and thick. You're not going to be able to massage out scar tissue. It's there. It's in it for the long haul. Scar tissue typically does not feel tender. So again, that's your signal. Is it tender to the touch? Anywhere in the body where you're like, oh, there's some thickness there. That might be the taut band everyone's talking about with trigger points. I should push into it approach it mindfully. And the next video that you're, that we're going to put in this series is what actually is a trigger point. So we're going to talk about that in the next video. And then also you're going to learn how do I treat it anywhere that you're working in the body. When you think there might be tenderness in there, you want to sink slowly through the tissue. 
You don't want to push and you don't want to just start digging your elbow in. A lot of folks talk to me about, I want to know how to do deep work. You actually don't. Deep work is a misunderstanding of the body because muscles are superficial. You can't do deep work on the trapezius or the rhomboids in between the shoulder blades. The tissues aren't deep there. What you're looking for is sensation. Even your clients that say, I love deep work. No, what they, what they want is to feel. They want that sensation. And you don't need to work hard or just use your elbow to dig around in there. I've had massage therapists working on me that I actually stopped and said, I'm gonna stop, you're gonna stop, I'm getting off the table. You're just causing me damage. You're just hurting my body because you're just digging in there, not knowing really what you're doing. Because deep work is a misunderstanding. What you want is sensation. What you're looking for is sensation. So if there's tenderness and if there is, uh, they go, oh yeah, that's a good spot, then that's where you want to focus your attention. So you're going to get that, how to do that in the next video. So I just want to point out one other thing. Sometimes you might have a client come in with a lipoma. A lipoma is a little fatty pad that the body has created for some reason, and it feels like a thick kind of, almost like a cyst, but it feels like a thick chunk of tissue. Again, it doesn't have much sensation at all, and it's not tender. If you find very superficially in your client a kind of thick pad, um, it will protrude out from the skin, it's under the skin on top of the muscles. That's not something you wanna dig around and push onto. You're not gonna be able to change that lipoma. And typically, they're not problematic. They don't cause pain and suffering in your clients. The only time they do that is when they get real big and they start kind of pulling on the connective tissue and the muscles deep to them. Those are very superficial, just under the skin, and they don't move really around. They, you just kind of feel this kind of little pillow underneath there. So don't mess with that. That's a lipoma. They should see their doctor and maybe they'll have it removed, but they're benign, they're not a big deal. So again, here's what we're looking for. We're looking for a taut band or a trigger point, a hyper irritable spot. That's what you're going for, tenderness. If it's not tender, don't make it tender. Don't, don't mess with it. Just soothe and keep going on your search for those trigger points. And then when you find those, they're gonna be like, oh, that's amazing, that's the spot. How did you know where to go? And then you can really help your clients. So I hope that was helpful to you. Kat Matlock here at Free Body. Check out the next video on what a trigger point is and how to treat it. Have a great day.